Hi everyone, this is the third video in a series of four about equity investment terms aimed at founders of high growth tech businesses. This one's about restricted covenants. And we're talking about here non-competes, non-solicitation of employees or non-poach of employees and non-solicitation of customers and suppliers. There's a couple of principles here. The first one's really obvious. Of course, the investor's backing the founders to deliver returns. If a founder leaves and starts to compete with the business, obviously that's destroying value. Second principle is that this is not a sort of founders versus investor scenario here. If you're a founder that's staying behind in the business and your co-founders left, you're in the same boat as the investor. You don't want them to compete. Takeaways. This is about protecting the investment. It's not about stopping founders from earning a living if things don't work out. So you've got to be careful of scope. What scope of services are covered by the non-compete or products? What's the geographic scope? If you're working in a fintech and you have to leave or it doesn't work out, you shouldn't be restricted from the entire financial services market. Second takeaway is about the timing. So these are going to run for about 12 to 24 months in this context. But do they start from when you cease to hold shares or when you cease to be employed? If it's the former, these are illiquid shares in a private company. You're not guaranteed a sale. You're not guaranteed an exit. So these restrictive covenants could last theoretically in perpetuity. So that's something to be careful of. So hopefully that's given you some insight into restrictive covenants. If you've got any questions or you want to speak to us, please give me a call or get in touch with someone in the team. Thanks.